Hi and welcome to my channel. I'm Karma of Omanit. Today we're going to be doing our second unboxing of the Enchanted Crystal Box. This is a monthly subscription box and there are different levels that you can join it from. I um, have the highest level box because I am just starting to redo my crystal collection. I had collected crystals forever and ever, then a bunch of years didn't. And so I'm just getting back to collecting them again, using them again in my practices, in my meditations. And because of that, I wanted to do some crystal subscription boxes. Um, so let's get right to it. For July. I already cut the seal on it. And when you open it up, you can see that you have uh, the grid on the top take that out first and then I'm just going to move the box over for a minute. So you've got this pretty grid. We'll set it down here and I'll set the other things on it. Then inside here you have the letters that are on top. And they don't really explain the stones. What They, they kind of explain what's going on and um, how they're finding their crystals and that kind of thing. Then you see it's wrapped really nicely and as you open up all this, then your stones are wrapped in there nicely like that. So I'm gonna move the box over. Let's just start pulling these out. So we have one here. This is rare turn this around so you can see it. So got this. this one's rare, not rare. Uh, very rare, rare. Let's see. Oh, and then our little box. So every single, let's see, this is the last one, rare. There's our rares. Okay, so we got three that are rare and two over here that are common and then one very rare. Then it also comes with a package of stones um, that are kind of extra stones. And this month it looks like we have leopard skin jasper, tiger's eye, and unikite. So take those out. Um, so what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to um, show you the gem, say just a couple of things about it, um, but I'm going to put the descriptions and some additional information into text. So here is our leopard skin jasper, and the leopard skin jasper is for earth star, root, sacral, um, some of those lower chakras mostly, depending on the color of it. Uh, and it's really known for balancing light and dark. So that's a beautiful piece. Put these down here. And our tiger's eye, most people are familiar with tiger's eye. It's a third eye chakra stone but it can be used for a couple of other chakras as well depending on what you want to do one of the really interesting things about tiger's eye is that it was used as a talisman and still is um, to protect the wearer against ill wishes curses those kinds of things it also helps to uh, have the correct use of power with integrity and then you, the unikite right here, really pretty. The unikite is the stone of vision and it's a base chakra stone. Okay, so let's start. We'll start with our botrioidal chalcedony. pretty. Now boitriodal actually means in the form of grapes. 
So I could see, especially if it were a bunch of these in uh, a cluster or something, how it would look like a bunch of grapes. Very cool. And the Boitriotal um, Chalcedony is the sacral, good for the sacral chakra. Of course, a lot of the, I've, ooh, oh my gosh. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. That is just gorgeous. I can get a really good shot. Really pretty. Oops. And this was Brazilian quartz. And what I was telling you before is um, that I, a lot of the descriptions and the things I've learned about crystals, a lot of you know that I just kind of started to get my crystal collection going back again. I used to collect them a long, long time ago. Um, and it's so exciting this time because there's so much more information on crystals for me to learn. So really cool. Um, but a lot, I use a book called The Crystal Bible. There's also volume two and volume three. And so I will link that below as well. So now we're going to our rare, and this rare uh, Ulexite TV rock. Interesting. Never heard of that before. Let's see what it looks like. Oh. Oh, okay. So I have seen this before. These are actually a magnifier. If you put it down on the the text, you can actually magnify um, whatever you're looking at. And that is exactly what it's for as a stone too. It's used with the third eye um, to help bring focus to your inner, inner or your spiritual self. Very cool. And next we have, oh, this was the very rare. Let's get more of the rare. So a Missouri Galena. Missouri Galena is a root or a base stone. And it's known as the stone of harmony. However, oh, wow. Oh, that's beautiful. However, one thing that you do need to know about this stone is it is a lead-based stone. So um, it's, it's safe to touch like I am. There's no problem there. But uh, like if you were around it in dust, like if it were being filed or if there were dust particles of it, you would need to be careful and protect yourself. So, whoops, keep wanting to go to that very rare one. So the next is a rare, and it's a dream amethyst. Oh, I love dream amethyst. Yay. Dream amethyst are a third eye stone, and they help bring peaceful sleep, and of course with, oh, ooh, wow. Oh, that is gorgeous. Now I do notice there's a little crack that runs probably I guess most of the way around it, matter of fact, kind of spirals. Some people might contact the seller and have them send them a new one, but I really love and respect stones. And unless I drop it hard, which I hope I don't, it should stay intact. It's not like it's loose or really broken. So I love all stones with their imperfections. And so even though there is a little crack in that, I won't be returning it or asking for a new one. That is a gorgeous piece. And our last but not least piece, our very rare, and it is a Namiba Kyanite. Oh, wow. Namiba Kyanite. And it says very rare. That's really pretty.
So I did look these up before I opened them, even though I didn't open the stone itself because I wanted to be surprised with you. And so let's see, what did I find out about this stone? It is a throat chakra stone, which is understandable, especially being green. And it connects us to our spirit guides with spirit, brings us spiritual integrity and maturation. So I was unfamiliar with this stone, had never heard of it. So there we go. There's the enchanted crystal box for July 2020. I hope you enjoyed it. If I resonate with you and you enjoy listening to my videos, please remember to subscribe and like this video. I kind of changed the format up, so shoot me a comment at the bottom and let me know if you like the format of this video. Thanks so much and have a great day.